some more Bluetooth headsets. Hey, this is John Young here. Today we're looking at three different Bluetooth headsets. This one is from Bear2. This is their SX990. This is under $40. It is a foldable Bluetooth headset that has the retracting earbuds. And you could hear it. There we are. It's got its on-off switch and the controls and such. Uh, pretty decent runtime, decently reviewed for the price. It gets a lot of love, and we're going to hear how it sounds in just a second. What I'm wearing is from, this is one of the new versions of the LG, the LG Tone Flex, meaning super flexible band, which is one of the things my 1120, 1125, it died on me. First the earbud, because I use one most of the time, died. And then the band started to separate, which if you look at the reviews, that's very, very common. But this is the, let me give it, this is the HBS XL7. So this is their step up from the five, and the five is pretty well reviewed, but we're using, right now, you're hearing me on that one. Then we're gonna go back to one of the old ones. This is one we've actually used in a couple of different videos is kind of the standard. This, I believe, is, this is an LG, and I believe this is the 920. The 920 seems to be kind of a favorite, um, and it's you can still find these on refurb, but this is, I guess we'll call this kind of the, the, the setting the line, and if they sound better or worse than this, we'll check them out. So we're going to do all three of them. First off, again, you're listening to me talking right now over the, let me give you the model number one more time. This is the XL7. So we're going to do our line. Good evening and welcome to tonight's show. And now we've moved over to the SX990, which I've, I've been using it and some people said I didn't have the same fidelity as my older headset that I was using on phone calls. But this is about a quarter the price of what some of the other ones are. So this again is the Bear 2. This is the XX990. Good evening and welcome to tonight's show. And finally, we're going to be back to LG. This is the something something 920, which is really tough to find. This is a little bit better than the 800 series and supposedly the 1100 series was supposed to be a bit, a bit better. But this is one that I've been using for video and I've used it off and on. It was my spare as I had an 1100 series for the longest time. But this will give you an idea of what it sounds like compared to the others. Good evening and welcome to tonight's show. So I'm back to the XL7 here from LG. Now I wanted to go back to this because it might give you an idea of current model, what it can do. Now the 920 is a nice sounding headset and people who are talking to me sound really quite good on that one. I've been happy with that. This has, I believe, yeah, the Harman uh, Kardon tuning in this particular one. This one has a little bit different tuning in it. And let me give you that, uh, the tuning on this one. Oh, it's here somewhere. But it isn't using some of the, the big names that we know in the industry. I'm not finding it on the box. So much for quick and easy. So the tuning, it, I sound pretty good as I'm coming through. But for some people, it might be a little bit, they, they, some people like it and some people say that it didn't work for them. Now the sound off the SX990, it was a little, a little flat, but I guess that's the difference in sound quality between a $100 headset and a $35 headset. Differences there. Another thing beyond the flex on the LG that you can twist, turn it around, which you can't do that with either of these, is that it has the quick charge. You can plug it into USB for about 10 minutes and you can get three hours of time runtime on it, which is pretty cool because some of these, if they die, I can plug it in for half an hour and it'll get you some runtime, but it's going to need to be plugged into fully charged to really function at a high level. So just the three, I'm gonna put those three little segments back to back to back so you can compare them straight away and you can kind of let me know in the comments which one you think sounds the best? Good evening and welcome to tonight's show. Good evening and welcome to tonight's show. Good evening and welcome to tonight's show. Links for all of these will be in the description below so you guys can go check them out. So let's just do this one with the cell phone microphone. So the SS, SX990 was absolutely terrible. Uh, the audio, the fidelity wasn't there for the microphone. I was really disappointed with that one. The audio for the the 7, the XL7, was, was really quite good. 
But you heard a little bit of clipping when I did that line. And I think what we needed to do with that is probably bring the gain down a little bit because we use Filmic Pro, which is what we're using right now. And I could have probably maybe brought the gain down a little bit and gotten a better quality sound. But that was only, uh, otherwise it sounded great unless I really got a little louder. And of course the 920 sounded uh, very consistent, but it didn't quite have the fidelity, I thought, as the the uh, XL or XL7. So those are the two that I would really kind of look back and forth at. Those are the, sounded the best, but I have to give it the XL7. I think sounds the best as long as we don't have a ton of noise. One complaint with the XL7 is that it picks up noise. And as I was recording here, uh, someone was talking about 30 feet away, and uh, I could hear them being picked up by that microphone on that little headset. I like to use the headsets for podcasts when I'm doing some of these little product videos, and you guys have seen me do that. Uh, it's great, but it's something to think about. If I have someone who's you know, talking a distance away, that could be an issue or a problem. So little things for those of you who are podcasting and you want to use it, this could be something. So I just want to give you that test. Thanks for watching. For more tips and how-to videos, go to weekendhandyman.com.